Know yourself. Be yourself. Love yourself. Know who you are in God. Be who you are unapologetically and love yourself wholeheartedly. I am Kimberly Joy and I thank you for listening to the Kimberly Joy Show. God, we thank you. We love you. We honor you. We appreciate you. There is no one like you, God. You are the only true God, the only living God. Heaven is your throne. The earth is your footstool. Lord, we surrender all to you right now. We submit ourselves to you, our minds, our hearts, our bodies to you. Lord, we acknowledge that you have called us. You saved us first from our sins and you have called us to witness to others about you, about you, Jesus, about your, your love, your goodness, your grace, your mercy, your gift of salvation. So Lord, we're asking for your strength. We're asking for your encouragement right now as we go forth and do what you have called us to do, that we will continue to do what you've called us to do, even in the moments of discouragement, even in the moments of weakness. We're asking you to strengthen us in the name of Jesus. Lord, we love you. We honor you. We thank you forever and ever. In the name of Jesus, amen. I would like you all to come out Saturday, September 7th from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Come on out to our church, Power and Faith Ministries, and get yourself a tasty whiting fish dinner for only $15. The dinner includes two pieces of fish, two sides, and you can choose from coleslaw, french fries, green beans, mac and cheese. The dinner also includes four hush puppies, two pieces of bread, and a drink. We also offer fish sandwiches for $6 and dessert for $6. We also offer kids meals for $6. The meals include fish sticks or chicken rings, applesauce, french fries, and a drink. We accept cash, debit cards, and cash app. Our cash app is dollar sign power and faith. Dollar sign P-O-W-E-R-A-N-D-F-A-I-T-H. For questions or to place your order, please call 513-696-2170. That is 513-696-2170. And the fish fry will be held at Power and Faith Ministries, 8120 Hamilton Avenue, Mount Healthy, Ohio, 45231, and we are in the Hilltop Plaza. So again, that will be Saturday, September 7th, from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Come on out and please tell others and we thank you in advance. In Acts chapter 17, the Apostle Paul, he spent some time in the city of Athens, preaching to people in the synagogues, preaching to people in the streets. He even preached to the high officials of the city. No one was exempt from hearing the gospel. See, Paul, he was not afraid to talk to anyone, regardless of their position, regardless of their economic status. Now, in the next chapter, chapter 18, once Paul's time was up in the city of Athens, the Holy Spirit led him to the city of Corinth. Now, Corinth was the capital of the Roman province of Achaia. In Corinth is where Paul met a Jewish man by the name of Aquila and his wife Priscilla. Paul lived with Aquila and Priscilla and he worked with them. In fact, they worked together as tip makers and they worked together in the ministry. The Bible says that each Sabbath day, Paul would go to the synagogue to preach to the Jews and the Greeks. And when it says Greece, it's talking about Gentiles or the non-Jews who worship God. Paul would use the Old Testament scriptures to prove to them that Jesus is the Messiah, the prophets like Isaiah and Jeremiah have prophesied about. Then it says that later on, Silas and Timothy joined Paul in Corinth. And once they arrived, Paul spent all his time preaching about Jesus. Now, according to Acts 18, verse 6, it says that the people Paul was preaching to, they opposed him and they even insulted him. But Paul didn't allow that to discourage him, to stop him. In fact, verse 6 says that he shook the dust from his clothes and he said this to the men. Your blood is upon your own heads. I am innocent. From now on, I will go preach to the Gentiles. Again, Paul shook the dust from his clothes and said, your blood is upon your own heads. I am innocent. 
In other words, Paul said, I did what I was supposed to do. I preached the gospel to you. So if you wind up suffering, if you wind up going to hell because you refuse to accept the truth, it won't be anyone's fault but your own. Paul also said, from now on, I will go preach to the Gentiles. In other words, I'll preach to the ones who don't even claim to worship God like you do. God not only used Paul to preach to his own people, the Jews, but he used Paul to preach to the Gentiles, including those who didn't even believe in God, who didn't even worship God. That's why Paul said in Romans 15 and 16, he said, that I might be a minister of Jesus Christ to the Gentiles, ministering the gospel of God, that the offering of the Gentiles might be acceptable, sanctified by the Holy Spirit. After this event, Paul left and he went to Titius Justice. Now, Titius Justice was a Gentile who worshiped God and he happened to live next door to the synagogue. During this time, Crispus, who was the leader of the synagogue and everyone in his household, they believed in the Lord. In fact, many others in Corinth also heard Paul's message and they became believers and they were baptized. So although Paul had some opposition, that did not stop many people from being saved. See, Paul was determined. He was bold. He was courageous, but he was also human. See, I can imagine that he probably sometimes felt weak, felt discouraged, even though people were being saved, set free. I'm sure dealing with his enemies, especially those who wanted to kill him, I'm sure that was not an easy task. That's why I believe that, that the Lord said this to Paul in verse 9 of Acts chapter 18. One night, the Lord spoke to Paul in a vision and he said, don't be afraid, speak out, don't be silent. For I am with you and no one will attack and harm you. For many people in the city belong to me. Once Paul heard those words, he was encouraged. He was strengthened and he stayed in Corinth for the next year and a half teaching the word of God. Now, after this, there was a man by the name of Gallio who became governor of Achaia. And, and once he became governor, some Jews who did not like Paul, saw this as the perfect opportunity to join forces together and they brought Paul before this new governor to be judged. They accused Paul of convincing the people to worship God in ways that went against their Jewish laws. But check this out. Before Paul had a chance to defend himself, God stepped in. The governor, Gallio, he didn't even, even address Paul. Instead, he addressed Paul's accusers. And in verses 14 and 15, he said this, if this case involved a serious crime, I would listen to you. I would have a reason to accept your case. But since it involves your Jewish law, you need to handle this yourself. I refuse to get involved. And then he threw them out of the courtroom. Like Paul, God is calling each of us to be witnesses for Jesus Christ, to tell others about his love, his grace, his mercy, his gift of salvation. And what God said to Paul back then, he is saying to us today, believe him, trust him. When he says, don't be afraid, speak out, don't be silent for I am with you. I want to thank you for listening to today's broadcast. Now, if you are ready to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, please pray this prayer to Jesus. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you were buried in the tomb. But I believe you rose again for my liberty. Jesus, please forgive me for my sins. Come into my heart uh, and be my Savior and my Lord. I thank you, Jesus. I am now saved. Now I do encourage you to attend a good Bible-believing church. You are welcome to visit us, Power and Faith Ministries. Again, we are located at 8120 Hamilton Avenue, Mount Healthy, Ohio, 45231 in the Hilltop Plaza. We have Sunday service at 10 a.m. To contact me, please email the Kimberly Joy Show at gmail.com or call 513-417-0097. And now here is a classic, John P. Key and New Life singing, I Shall Do.